going on y'all? It's your main man, make a microphone, growing out the main, and it's my two year, seven month dread update. I know it's been a minute since I uploaded since my last update, and the reason is because I've been working on building my computer, you can't really see it down there, but it's that big black box down there, and it was working, I told you guys last update, I'm gonna build a computer, I got all the parts and stuff, it worked like for two days, and then it like stopped working, so. I'm still using the slow one, and I, I really don't wanna make a video, make tons of videos and try to edit on a slow computer, and then just try to get crappy videos out really fast for you guys. I don't want to make good quality content, pull the shitty content, so I'm gonna be trying to get out good content when I get my computer that I bought and I'm fixing working again. So these dread updates are pretty much for me to inform you guys on what's going on with my hair at this specific time in my dread journey. So it might be different for you guys at this time in your dread journey because everybody's hair is different. But this is just for me to inform you guys on what's happening, what's going on monthly, weekly, whenever I update. That being said, I made this little list of things I'll be going over every Dread update. That way I can make it quick and consistent. I actually just washed my hair like an hour ago. Here's what my hair was looking like before I washed it. I'll show you the views of that and stuff. Um, just because I don't want to come on here showing y'all my hair after I just washed it. Really long dripping wet and be like, y'all see the length? Cause I don't really feel like that's the true length. I think you need to let it dry a little bit and then show the shrinkage and everything else and whatnot. But yeah, that's what, that's what it was looking like before I washed my hair and stuff. First thing is changes. Changes I've noticed since the last update or just in general my hair. Mainly for me not retwisting it since like February, end of February. Well, for right now I'm just rocking this month out. I'm gonna retwist at the end of this month will be six months. No retwist has been five. At the end of this month will be six, so half a year no retwist. And I'm not I'm not too mad about you guys, like. I don't know, I'll show you some more, some closer views after at the end of the video, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. So I noticed that like I'm getting like a whole bunch of dreads in the back mirroring together and kind of going up and I even have this one really big section that's like three dreads starting to kind of go up together and stuff. So I got some congos going on because I haven't really been maintaining and separating um, when I wash my hair and stuff and I still wear my hair in some ponytails every now and again, at least that main part, so when you do that. Those hairs are just going to match together naturally and to get it apart, I mean, I'm not really concerned about it because to get it apart, all I'm going to do when I retwist is just pull the hair apart just slowly and carefully, not trying to rip it and stuff. But I mean, right now I'm not really minding it. My hair is still growing strong and everything. So, other changes I know is it's just really hot this summer. It's really hot this summer. Like when I got my runs and stuff, even like these past two months, I can, I, I, think, I think my hair has grown significantly, especially me not retwisting it. But it just, it's just so much hotter and the way up in the back of my neck. Like if I can get some hair off the back of my neck any time of the day, it's just really relieving. Well, I mean, I haven't really done anything to the side of my hair right here, but I know it's like some t like you'll have like these little patches of hair like that starting, starting to come out and that's just kind of drying up now. But changes otherwise than that, it's just getting longer. It takes long to dry my hair now. Still, like some days, like I'll still have it to where all my hair feels long. Other days, it feels short. But right now, it's like touching like tops of my shoulders, which is it's, it's getting there. Like when it can actually just like lay, you know, kind of like just that on my shoulders. That's gonna be happy. We're getting there. We're getting there. But those are some changes I've noticed. My styles I do, my go-to styles, I usually wear it up in like a little ponytail or whatever. Um, I still can't put my, all my hair in the ponytail, I still have like four or five dreads come out in the back. But I mean, I can do like the top ponytail almost, I can kind of do like a back ponytail, but again, some in the front come out, so we're almost to ponytail, hoping for my three year comfortable ponytail easily. That's usually my go-to right there, where I usually just like wear a headband, throw that on, um, just pull it back, again, just get out my face, because these dreads are starting to kind of delay back, but Every now and again, when I'm meeting special or something, they'll, they're just like the size is getting in the way. So, a hairband or something, and, but I don't like to like pull my hair back too much. I just like to wear it on the top. So anything that's like, where it's loosely pulled back, or it's on the top of my head. Or sometimes I'll just grab these two little dreads, and I'll kind of just tie them across at the top. Or sometimes I'm gonna like, just kind of put in like a little bun in the back. Like I said, just get some heat off my neck. Like a little half top bun, I'm gonna kind of experiment with that. And when I can do buns, that's gonna be really fun. Maybe like four years, honestly. When I'm at my four year mark, I'll be able to do like a good bun, bun size. But right now, I'm just ha I'm just happy that my hair's growing and I can do stuff with it. And like I said, with styles, it just gets really, really hot, especially just on the back of my neck. But like whenever I wear my hair down, um, I'm outside. I'm in air conditioning, it's fine. But when I'm outside, I can see standing there and like 
and also start sweating underneath everything. So it's just really hot. That's a really con. I don't have too many, and besides, sometimes we don't want it to get in your face or whatever. Like, they'll just lose fall. But again, I wanted that, so I'm not really complaining about it. That's not really a con to me. Pros, it's getting long, y'all. Like, it's getting long. Other people are saying my hair's getting long, so people are noticing it, which is good. Feels healthy, and right to the point where I can feel like I can start experimenting with it without it damaging my roots and stuff. So I'm really excited to be to this middle stage point slash teenage transition to mature slash adult lock stage. Pros, I just, I just love them. Keep doing stuff with them. They're just getting longer, which is a pro to me. I can shake like all day, so that's great. Oh, the goals in the future, again, my big goal, probably like just a comfortable top ponytail. I can just wear it up here, almost like that, you know, but just kind of a little bigger. The so top ponytail, back ponytail, top bun. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch my um, dread, my dread, what's it called? My dread goals video or something. I'll go ahead and watch that video. But though those are some future goals I have, but some future plans I plan, future changes I plan on doing. Some future changes I plan on doing with my hair though. I'm gonna dye a few of my, my tips. Just a few of my tips. I was thinking about like dyeing like this one right here and then doing like not every tip but like almost just like randomized, randomized tips. Just to like kind of accent and just have them scattered throughout so you can see different levels of my dreads. Parts so, like maybe this one, maybe this one, like one like that. And just, I don't know, I think that look kind of cool. In the future after that, I plan on just like dyeing all my tips, get one same color, we'll rock that for a while, then get them even lighter, we'll rock that for a while, then dye them a color. I kind of know which color, but I haven't picked yet. But yeah, I'm going to rock the bleach for a little bit, probably after my birthday, um, October. These things aren't going to be black very long anymore, and they're almost like kind of actually like a brownish color you can't really tell but like they're slightly brownish opposed to like my roots which are like darker so they're getting kind of like a sun kiss but I'm again I'm gonna just dive a few a little bit and just kind of put it out and see but I don't want to dye like my whole dreads just because I don't want to mess with the roots and I want to keep the roots strong so the rest of my dreads are strong as strong as they can be because I know when you work with bleach and stuff it's it's a whole thing yeah. that's the whole point of the dread update y'all want to see the views yeah, here's a front view. Me wearing it down after the wash. You already seen this, but this is after the wash now. Comes down to my mouth just hanging. If I pull it down, it goes well past my chin. And yep. Okay, my right side is a little bit shorter than my left, but you can't really tell. Maybe when it gets long, you'll be able to tell, but I don't know. I'm also being able to like kind of play around with where it in the front or let it go back. So that's kind of cool. That's like another little change. It's real subtle, but like that just feels nice to do. So if you're in the journey, stay in it, stick with it. I mean, I'm enjoying the journey. It's very low maintenance, very easy. I'm seeing my hair thrive way better than I did in the afro and stuff. I gotta stop looking at the fucking monitor. Um, but way better than I did in the afro. If you're thinking about getting dreads or you're not really sure, you don't know, try it out. Again, it's just hair. It's going to grow back. You can do whatever you want. Be patient. After the first year, and like, I didn't even think about it. I looked at my old videos, like my two-year video, and it's crazy how much shorter it looks at the two-year video than it does now. I almost keep seeing the same thing. It's just, it, 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 it's a fun journey. Start it when you want to. Stick with it. And then you can always end it when you want to. You don't gotta keep them. So, I don't know. Very free, very free journey, very fun journey. I'm loving every single second of it. And yeah, also, thank y'all for um, getting me to 100 subscribers. I'm thinking like 120 something right, like right now. So, I appreciate that. Big goal I have though, after I get this big ass thousand dollar something block working again, I wanna try to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna say by like the end of the year would be great. Again, birthday will be even better. Birthday will be even better, but by the end of the year. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Comment down below, hashtag mingle to show support. Comment down below, hashtag mingle to show support to the channel. I appreciate that. Take it easy, y'all. Stay mingle, stay luck.
Stay in the same angle, stay locked. Oh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Comment down below it. Hashtag mangle if you support the channel. I appreciate that. Stay mangled, stay locked. Take it easy, y'all. Peace. Subscribe for that, subscribe.